Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. We're continuing our 2020 SHOT Show coverage. We came here by the Lyman booth to check out the Mark 7 reloading uh, presses and everything. Now look, these guys have done some really amazing things. So Lyman has an entire new set of dies that they had to develop just for this reloading press. I don't know if you guys know the story of Mark 7. Uh, they were kind of a, a small company that just really, really grew super, super fast. Lyman wound up purchasing the Mark 7 company and developing this entire line of reloading presses. Lyman has some really excellent manufacturing capabilities, really good quality control. And because of that, uh, they were a, a, allowing themselves to really get the price point on these presses to a lot more fair of a level. It's easy to get to for an average consumer. Mark 7s are great. Uh, now this particular one is a 10 station Mark 7s, so a fully uh, a progressive reloading press. Now this is a manual, okay? Really, really good leverage on the cam. It, it's got really smooth linkage, super, super smooth. This one is set up with a case feeder, but you can also set it up with a bullet feeder. We have a, uh, obviously our powder measure. It uses a traditional system for feeding the primers or the primer uh, tube. So this particular unit is uh, the Evolution and it's sort of their like entry level uh, foray into the Mark 7 style of press. But this is only where it begins. They have developed a lot of crazy technology with this type of a press system to make the entire system completely um, streamlined and automated. Okay, so when we look at the Titan, this will load up to 7,000 rounds. All right, you see there's a case feeder, a bullet feeder, uses a really cool primer system. You literally just dump the primers into a hopper, okay? And the hopper automatically turns the primers to the correct location and uses an application. So there's a software component, and this gives you a whole bunch of statistics and things that you need. There's various powder cops, cops at every level in terms of making sure that you don't get a primer seated in the wrong way or a, a, a piece of brass that doesn't have powder in it or that the station isn't moving when there's not a projectile in the right place or something like that. So this really helps take the guesswork out of it. You can speed up or slow down the process according to your production needs, okay? So what we're seeing at SHOT Show this year, not, not just with Lyman and not just with the Titan and the Mark 7 here, we're seeing that that technology is really going full circle with a lot of different things, right? The other booth when we're looking at the training system and everything like that. So there's these software components that are finding their way into uh, gun owner's hands. So with this particular press system, you can see it's currently running. Now they have a big bore version of this system, the Titan XL. This is the Titan. The Titan XL will actually load all the way up to 338 Lapua. And now in an automated setup, that's pretty crazy. So that's, a, that's a big rifle cartridge. And a lot of it has to do with the clearance of the shell plate and the shell holder. So, you know, it has to move further to make room for seating those large projectiles into those really tall cases, right? So the clearance of the ram is a big deal. So this one has a ton of clearance to load even the largest cartridges, okay? So you can load rifle cartridges, pistol cartridges. We will be doing more work with this setup because there's a heck of a lot of things to go into that I, I can't discuss here because it's just, we don't have time for it. Um, but everything is automated and really, really easy to set up and use. You can get different tool heads and different shell, shell plates. So basically you just drop this big bolt right here and it's a little bit of a setup, just like you're running any type of progressive press. You know, you have to change out the shell plate assembly of the die holder, tool holder. I would recommend if someone is gonna run something like this, if you're wanting to run multiple cal calibers, I wouldn't try to change out dies on something like this. I would buy dedicated uh, tool holders and shell plates for whatever cartridges or family of cartridges that you're gonna load and just set and forget, right? If you're gonna turn out like a ton of nine millimeter, we're talking with something like this Titan, if you're running pistol cartridges, you can probably load, you know, you're talking 20,000 rounds in just a couple of hours. So the production capabilities, especially at full speed and maximum efficiency, and if you're willing to sit with it and keep it fed in components, you can really crank some ammo out on these things. So I'm hoping that this year we'll be able to demonstrate that. Uh, this is really cool stuff. If you need to crank out a ton of ammo in a hurry and do it uh, with a system that gives you a software component to help make sure that you're kind of eliminating a bit of human error, like it helps sort of police you a bit too, right? It's a really cool setup to look at.
But guys, thanks for watching. We have many more booth reviews on the way, lots more SHOT Show coverage. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Go over to Ballistic Inc., pick up your t-shirt, or get you a Hawaiian t-shirt. We're pre-ordering those now. Thanks very much. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, all of our social media accounts, for all the hilarity and silliness, okay? Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Many more videos on the way.